Yo, what is going on guys? My name is X Super Lobbies, and I'm so happy to finally be back with my first custom tutorial video in a complete year. And you guys know what happened to me, and I'm sorry, but I'm back now guys, and I hope you enjoyed my new first video back. So today guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can take screenshots in any app, anything else that's not on the XMD, like Netflix, any other homebrew, any game, like GTA 5, Call of Duty, any game that you guys want. You can take a screenshot anywhere on your PS3 at any time. So the first thing you guys want to do is download the two PKGs in the description below. Uh, the one is Rebug Toolbox, but you just want to make sure you have the latest version of Rebug Toolbox and start your Rebug Toolbox on up. Alright, once we're in Rebo Toolbox, go over to the second column and make sure you have Cobra Mode enabled and Webman enabled. I already had mine enabled, but uh, if this were to be disabled and you enabled it, your PS3 would restart for both of these. So after both of these are enabled, go back to your XMB or just simply restart your PS3 or whatever Rebo Toolbox makes you do. But you're going to have to restart if you're enabling those for the first time. But after you've done that, uh, go to install package files and install the webman mod updater, the link will be in the description. It's a pkg file. Go ahead and install that. Once you guys have installed that, you'll see this. Don't click X on it, hold L1 and X at the same time. And then it's going to start, and then your PS3 is going to reboot. Uh, after your PS3 reboots, you're going to get a notification in the top right corner of your screen saying that the VSH was um, configured, blah, blah, blah. This is basically just um, rooting the PS3 for us to be able to do developer things like take screenshots in in game settings. But you can see my PS3 reboots just fine. Once your PS3 reboots, you can see that there's two notifications detailed at the top of the screen. And to make sure that you do have the full complete version, hold down select while hovering over this and you'll get some information like this. Just certain land stuff like your temperatures, your IP address, all that type of stuff in your firmware. If you see, this is what you can do. Well, then we're going to do a screenshot. Click X on that. Now you can go into any game and test this. So I'm going to go to Call of Duty 4, I guess. It's what's in my uh, disc tray right now. And once the game starts up at any point, just try clicking the X and B button in the middle of your controller. And if you scroll over to the photo column on your XMB, you'll see where it says save screenshot. And you can just take a screenshot and save the screenshot. And now it's saving and it's in-game. And if you guys didn't know, you can't do that in a lot of in-game uh, like types of games. Because uh, it's just like copyright, blah, blah, blah. But now that you see, you can take... Basically, screenshots anywhere we, any app that's open, YouTube, anything, so you can capture every moment or memory. That's funny, because I remember in Modern Warfare 3, you could take screenshots on an OFW. But you can see anywhere. Main screen, save screenshot, and now you have a screenshot. So, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I thought it would be a quick, easy tut tutorial, and just a way to put my name back out there to show you guys that I am back, because a lot of you guys have been asking me what I was going to upload a new video, and I'm happy to finally be back, guys. So I hope this tutorial did help you, did help you learn something new, but if you go to your photo section now, you can see that all the photos that we just took are dated, timestamped, and screenshotted perfectly. So that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys did have a fantastic Christmas. Hope you guys have a good new year. Um, do what you guys want to do in the rest of 2016. Have a good 2017, guys. 